Paul. Good evening. Tonight, you'd better put yourself on hold. Or even better, take your receiver off the hook. Of course, it won't do you the least bit of good. The play by Janet Bonelli knows all along who isn't on the other end of the line. Mr. Agostino. This makes Metro's 83rd fatality since the new year, an increase of 20 from the same time last year. And now, here's the AccuWeather report. Storm clouds over the lower lake regions are heading towards Metro, bringing heavy rains by late evening. And a cold air mass is moving down from the... Hello? Hello? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Who's speaking, please? Oh, I want to speak to uh, Mr. Agostino. Oh, I'm sorry, there's no Mr. Agostino at this number. But I'm sure that's the number where I can reach you. I'm sorry, I've told you you have the wrong number. Hello? Please, let me speak to Mr. Agostino. I've already told you there's no one here by that name. Wait, don't hang up. Is this 3871536? Uh, yes, it is, but there's no Mr. Agostino here. Please, get the operator to find you the right number. And don't disturb me again. Oh, look, I've already told you twice. What? I di- what? Hold on a minute, it's me. Uh, oh, <laughs> my God, Betty. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Some nut's been bugging me with the wrong number. Oh, oh my. <laughs> well, what'd he say? Oh, he's just looking for some guy called Agostino. Oh. It won't take no for an answer. Oh, well. Well, listen, if he calls again, tell him to get the operator. I already have. Oh, okay. So, uh, what's up? Oh, yeah, are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. At one thirty. I can't get away from the office any earlier. Oh, sure, that's fine. Okay, great. So, um... Uh, I'll see you at the lunchbox at 1.30. Sure. I'll see you then. Yeah, good. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hello? You were on the line. What? Please, I really apologize for bothering you again, but I'm at a pay phone, and I've only got one quarter left. Please, don't hang up. But I told you already. Get the operator. There's no one here by the name you want. Hey, I did call the operator, but she can't find the number without the first name. And and, and, and there's too many Agostinos to check it out by the address. Look, I'm sorry, lady. But I just got into town this afternoon, and I'm supposed to call this guy about a job. Well, and I, I never did get his full name, but but he hires guys for construction and stuff. That's what I do, you know. Uh, so I was sure I took the number down right. 387-1536. Well, this is that number. But I'm telling you, I don't know any Mr. Agostino. I'm sorry, I I just can't help you. Hey, look, do me a favor. Have you got a phone book? Oh, come on, I'm not the telephone operator. Well, look, what do you want me to do? Be a good sport, eh? Look up the number for me. Oh, for God's sake. Please, lady. Okay. (laughs) Just a minute. Thanks, lady. Hey, this has really helped me out, you know. Um, um, yeah, okay. (laughs) <laughs> There's at least two columns of Agostinos here. But don't you even know what part of the city he's in? Uh, well, I would have thought north. Try the north end of the city, like the suburbs. 
Well, uh, there's an Agostino in Franklin. That's north. Oh, but the number isn't remotely like mine. Oh, wait, here's one. Three six seven three five one eight. Same digits, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Oh, but well, the address is right downtown. Um. Look, I can't find anything. You, you're just out of luck. And I have to hang up. Okay. Okay, lady. Listen, I, I appreciate it. Oh, that's you know? okay. Yeah. I, I come from this small town. If, if you phone there, you get the name on the switchboard. <laughs> and, and then the party line gets on and everybody talks to each other. <laughs> I'm just not used to it here. Like, like, like here, you don't even talk to people. Oh, okay. You know, don't worry about it. Uh, sorry I couldn't help you. And I, I do hope you find your Mr. Agostino. Now, uh... I'm going to hang up now. Okay, lady. And thanks. <sighs> now, don't you dare call again. Of course, he refused to talk about it, so I'm stuck. Well, you know, you should give him a bit of time. Uh, I bet he'll be back in a day or two. Mm. Want some dessert? Oh, why not? Being thin isn't getting me anywhere. <laughs> well, what about your sex life? Anything interesting? Mm-hmm. Clever boys and anonymous phone callers are all <laughs> I'm coming up with right now. Hey, that's right. Did you hear from that weirdo again? As a matter of fact, I did. Just after you hung up last night. Huh. I don't think he's really a weirdo. Just some farmer who's lost his contact for a job. Oh, God, are you naive. Don't you ever read the papers? <laughs> no, if anonymous phone callers made the headlines or what? Carol, every night there's something rotten happening. Like some kid was attacked the other day coming home from school. Right on Main Street with traffic and everything. Betty, I know and these things happen. So I, I and have... some old guy was found in that parking lot at the end of the subway. Beaten to death. It was so awful they couldn't even identify him. Yeah, I heard about that. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go into all the grisly details. Well, the other night, this girl at the movie... Betty, get off it. Now, can we get back to more important things? Like food? Whatever you like. It's your funeral. Mr. Agostino. I heard you. Why are you calling again? Oh, my God. I'm sorry, lady. Have I got you again? Yes. I I had another couple of numbers I could call, and I didn't see that I was dialing you again. I'm sorry, okay? okay. Okay. I'm really sorry. It's all right. Anyway, I've got a confession to make, you know, about Mr. Agostino. (laughs) I made it up. (laughs) You what? Listen. What are you playing at? Well, I didn't make it up about there being a Mr. Agostino. Just about the job part. I made that up. Uh, look, this has nothing to do with me. Look, I want to be honest with you. It's important to me. Oh. Now, this guy, Agostino, mm-hmm. you see, he lived next door to us when I was a kid. He was good to us. Uh-huh. A really good man, you know. Mm-hmm. And, well... My folks were real mean. And Agostino, he kind of made up for it. So, one day he moves here, and when I know I'm coming to get work, I decide to look him up. To say thanks. To maybe pay him back. Yeah, okay, uh, you don't need to explain. But look, I don't want to be rude, but please, don't call again. Whatever you say, lady, I'm sorry. I just wanted to be honest with you, you know? Yeah, okay. Good night. I said, good night. Yeah. Good night. Oh, God. Oh, now, come on. 
Helen, don't worry. It wasn't the only job in the world. Oh, I know. But what am I going to do? Well, look for another job. I knew it was coming. The other day, I just knew something was up. I felt terrible that night. Like a premonition, like I knew something awful was going to happen. Oh, oh now, come on, okay. But listen, being fired isn't the end of the world. Oh, listen, you even said your boss was a creep anyhow, right? What is it they always say? Turn the obstacles into challenges. You know what I mean? Oh, Betty, what I don't need is another challenge. Sure you do. Uh, excuse me, girls, but uh, the fellas that are in the bar like to buy you a drink. Really? Oh, well, I... I don't know. He's a regular. He seems okay to me. So what do you say? Are you giving the good news? Oh, why not? Tell him to get over here and chat us up. What do you say, Carol? Oh, look, Betty. I'm really strung out tonight. I'm just not in the mood for this. So what's the big decision, ladies? Uh, Carol? No, that's fine. You stay. Check out the action. Look how I'm on. i got to get my head together, okay? And don't worry. All right. Hey, baby. Hey. Excuse me. No way. Listen, we'll buy a drink, eh? Excuse me? Buy it, too. I see Let's you're doing raging there. Hey, geez, you're nice. Thank you. Can you come over here and sit down? Oh, a bunch of yeah. Oh, great. Now it's raining, right? So I'll get soaked, right? What else? A taxi! Damn. Oh, my God. A taxi! Please, a taxi! No mood for your kidding around tonight. Leave me alone. Look, lady, I'm sorry. <laughs> Believe me. I don't want you to be upset. Hey, I can't take a lady crying. Honest, I can't take it. Now, what's wrong? Well, I only lost my job this afternoon. And I have God knows how many bills to pay. I went out to time went on with a girlfriend tonight, and I got bugged by all the creeps in the bar. And then... And then some joker followed me down the street. Is that enough already? You're kidding. Some guy followed you right on the street? Yes. It happens in the big city, you know? That's awful. Did, did you see him? No, I didn't look. You mean you didn't even get a quick glance? What did you want me to do? Introduce myself? Hey, come on. 
to identify him. So you could report it to the cops. Oh, take my word for it. The last thing the cops care about is some jerk following a girl. You're kidding. You mean they don't even care? Look, why are you calling here again? Hey, come on. Don't get uptight. <sighs> I'm calling for a good reason, really. Oh? I've got something important to say. Oh, well, tell me quickly. I've had a rotten day and I'm ready to pack it in. It's this. A what? It's this. You know that thing about Agostino knowing me when I was a kid and all that? Yes. <laughs> well, I made it up. <laughs> well, look, I'm not up to this, and I don't really want to talk, okay? Hey, you've got to listen. This is going to make you feel good. Oh. The first time I called, I really was looking for Agostino. Yes. And then I heard your voice. So? I just had to call you back, you know, because I thought your voice sounded like it belonged to the most beautiful girl in the world. Oh, oh come on now. Because I knew that I was speaking to the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> like, when that happens, well, I mean, what's a guy going to do? Well, I mean, who's going to introduce us, you know? Look, whoever you are, you're very flattering, and I thank you for the compliment, but this, this is crazy. I'm going to hang up now. Okay. I, I know you're feeling bad tonight. But you get a good night's sleep, you hear? And, and maybe I'll just call tomorrow to make sure you're all right. Okay? Uh, okay. Whatever you want. You mean it? Terrific. So, I'll call you tomorrow. You can expect my call. Okay. Good night. Experience, yes. That's fine. However, there is some concern about your typing. Oh, but I could easily pick up speed at home. Yes, well, uh, we have you on file, Miss Bentley. We'll be in touch. Okay. Then thanks for your time. <sighs> Darn. Hello? Hey, 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 hey. How are we today, beautiful? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Look, I can't talk. I'm really busy. You I sure sound busy. Business like, you know, like yes. you're in an office or something. Yes. Well, I'm looking for a job. I'm feeling business like today. Now I have to go. Look, I just called to see if you were okay. You said I should call. Oh, look, I'm sorry I was abrupt, but I told you I lost my job. You know how hard job hunting is these days. Oh, sure. I understand now. Yeah. I'm real glad you told me this. Because I thought you didn't like me. Like, like maybe you were upset by something I did. I'm glad I called. So, you see why I really have to hang up now? No, not yet. Not yet. You know you're entitled to a coffee break. Besides, I have something important to tell you. Well, what is it? You know all that stuff about Mr. Agostino? Mm. <laughs> I made it up! <laughs> Look, I don't mind. I mean, you you don't have to explain. And I, I have something to tell you, too. Yeah? Yeah. What? As a matter of fact, I was just thinking, you know, there are other numbers you could call to talk, numbers where other people could help you out. What numbers? Listen, there's all kinds of community services that could help you. Find a job, you know, get together with a... Other people to talk to? You find a room with nice people living there. You know, all kinds. Listen... I'd be glad to look up some of those numbers for you right now. Hey, don't you bother finding me 
Have you numbers. See, it's their job. These these agencies are paid to help people like you. I mean, like us. You pay taxes. It's your right to talk to them, to use them. So, you know, listen. Try the community service center for where you live, or, or the the YMCA, or the traveler. That you're a traveler, right? Call them, please. And now, I, I really have to hang up. Good luck. Goodbye. Carol, don't you hang up on me. What? Don't hang up on me, Carol Bentley. my mind that weirdo called again. God knows how he found out, but he, he's got my name, and I'm terrified. Betty. Oh, God. Well, look, now listen, I'm coming right over. Don't open the door unless it's me, okay? I'm leaving right now. I'll be there in 15 minutes, okay? Carol, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Thanks a lot, Betty. You know, they, they say these phone freaks don't really want to do anything with you. That's what they say in all the magazine articles. But come anyway, okay? I'm coming. Okay, now listen, don't panic, but just to be safe, call the police. Do it. Call and tell them. And get the phone company to change your number. Now call them too, right now, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. And by the time you're finished, I'll be there. Now just stay calm. Just stay... Oh, geez, there's another call on the line. I'll see you Are in you... 15 minutes, okay? Yeah, uh... Harassed by some nut who's got hold of my phone number from somewhere. Oh yes. Um, how do I go about getting an unlisted number? Oh, you'll have to talk to our service department about that. Please dial six one one. God. This is your telephone service department. Uh, All our operators are busy now. Um, when an operator is free, your call will be connected. This is your telephone. Damn it. right number. Um, this isn't an accident or fire or anything, well, but I, uh, I'm having... Just check the front of your phone book, ma'am. Call your local district. But... if you don't speak up. Oh. Oh, you've got something stuck in your mouth. <laughs> there. 
Listen, I just want to ask you to to untie me. Please. You know, if, if you untie me, it'd be so much easier for us to talk. Talk? We've already talked. Over and over and over. I don't want to talk anymore. Carol. Do you have any chunky peanut butter? Yes. Oh, yes, I do. The other night I was feeling depressed, and it's <laughs> just like security food, you know? And I bought a jar on my way home. I have it. it, it it's in the fridge. You know, if, if you were untie me, I, I could make you really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I hate chunky peanut butter. <laughs> and I hate women crying. Look, I told you that already. I can't. I can't. Oh, no, wait, no. I just can't take it. Carol, it's me. Listen, I've only got two seconds. I'm on my way out the door. Look, if that creep phones you again, get the police. I just heard on the radio about that old man. You know, the one who was beaten to death in the parking lot? His name was Agostino. For God's sake, Carol, that freak who keeps phoning you must be the killer. Carol? Carol? Are you there? Carol? Why did you have to tell her? I thought you were different. Carol. Carol. Why does it end like this? You don't know, do you? <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. Agostino by Janet Bonelli. Featured in tonight's cast were Nancy Beatty as Carol and Tom Hoff as The Color, with Jane Eastwood as Betty. Also in the cast were Barbara Gordon, John Evans, and John Stocker. The recording engineer was Brian Pape, with sound effects by Bill Robinson. The production assistant was Nancy McElveen. Mr. Agostino was produced and directed in Toronto by William Lane. The series executive producer of Nightfall is Bill Howell. And now, here is a final word from your host. Hello again. Next week on Nightfall, we'll be taking you all the way to the edge of the world. And perhaps to the end of everything. I'm not expecting... Oh! oh! Jesus, watch that coffee. What's the matter with you? It's some advanced warning. She's in awful close. I'll try and contact her. Is she, is she in danger? This is an electric 305 to unmarked freighter. Come in. No markings on her, not as far as I can see. No flags either, don't they?